try to do there, uh, going to Jesse Bars. Gentlemen, these two wrestlers have been uh, training with Jesse Barr, and this will be a semi-pro match, one fall with an eight-minute time limit. Introducing in the blue corner from Coos Bay, weighs 210 pounds, Dan Sharp. His opponent in the red corner, weighs 225 pounds, from Portland, Jim Pope. at the pavilion. Well, you know, Klaus, what we haven't mentioned yet, what I just actually just found out is the 4th of July. Oh, tell me. Yes, the 4th of July. You were talking about the pavilion where they're training, learning yeah. how to wrestle. Well, last, last 4th of July, they had one of the biggest shows there at Extravaganza Cost outdoors, but this, this year it's even going to be bigger. Whoa! Even bigger. They're going to have live bands there. They're going to have all the food you can eat, all the drinks you can have. And people bring in their cars, come in, park yeah, their car there, yeah. and they can see the fireworks afterwards. Wow. So they got they got fireworks in the ring, and then they got fireworks in the sky. That's right. Because, you know, people always complain they have no place to park. Well, they can pull the car right in the pavilion there, and they can watch the fireworks all night long. I'll tell you what, you're going to want to mark this down, tell all your friends about this one. July 4th, the place to be. Uh, yeah. Starts at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Be there at 7 p.m. Now, don't forget, mark it down, 7 p.m. at the Pavilion, and that's right on Interstate. Well, everybody, I think everybody knows uh, where Jubitz is. It's pretty close to Jubitz right there, uh, so the Interstate Pavilion. We probably won't have any wrestling here Saturday night. We will be there at the Pavilion, Carl. Right. And Everything will be your there. Your tickets will be... Uh, right. If you've got a ringside tickets here at the Sports Arena, those same ringside tickets will be good at the uh, Pavilion on the 4th of July. No. Big fireworks show, big extravaganza. Like I said, there's going to be uh, two live bands there. There's going to be a rock band and a country band. Wow. All right, that uh, place is going to be rocking. And then uh, and then it's going to be rolling. I'll give you the exact address. It's 1225 North Marine Drive. They call it the Interstate Pavilion. 1225 North Marine Drive. And if you want more information on this, you can call area code 503 283 6993. 283-6993. You think, Cos, for one price, I mean, they can get into the place, watch the, the greatest wrestling matches in the world, and sit back and watch the fireworks afterwards. Oh, man. I tell you, and uh, there's, lot, there's plenty of fireworks to see from that vantage point. I mean, you can Whoa. look across the river. You can, I mean, you know what goes on over at that Fort Vancouver fireworks thing. And, uh, I don't know, maybe Sandy will have some of his own. Why, he might. I mean, I know there'll be some in the ring, that's oh, for sure. Big extravaganza. The... I'm excited because I love it there. Great food, cost, like I said, all the drinks you can have. And uh, see the fireworks starts at 7 p.m. Big extravaganza, two live bands. I might even have to sing, cost. You know, you never know. Oh, please, please don't. Oh, uh, please. We, we, want, we want the crowd to show up, huh? We want everybody there. Well, they're going to have a rock band, and they're going to have a country band okay. also, cost. All right, all right. And uh, if they, we have any luck, we might get Lawrence Welk for you. Well, hey, listen, we've seen the rock band, we've seen the, the country band, and in the ring before, we've seen you with contra band. So, you know, we've got it all right here uh, in the Northwest. And if it's not at the House of Action, the Portland Sports Arena, then it's over at uh, Sandy Bar's Interstate Pavilion. Wow, what a July, July. That's going to be good. But right now, this semi-pro match seems to be doing pretty good here, Cos. Hey, these guys are uh, these guys are looking pretty, very good. Whoa, look at that. A back body drop by uh, Jim Pope on Dan Sharp. 
And so these guys have got a ways to go, but, uh, man, they're learning, and they're learning fast. Well, that's true, you know, and, uh, and I don't care for Jesse Barr that much, but I do have to say, because I remember that he was an amateur champion. Jesse Barr was. He had a lot of titles, a lot of belts, a lot of uh, trophies that I've seen him have. So uh, he's getting, these boys out here are getting trained, I hate saying this, but by one of the best in the professional wrestling business oh, today. Oh, I know that hurt you to say that. I can't I stand saying that. Believe me, it hurts me. Well, I've seen that. Uh, I've seen that school of his, and it's uh, very, very impressive. Wow, there's a monkey flip yeah. there, Cos. You, uh, you learn all the. Of course, all he can do is he he can teach you, and he teaches you, you the moves. And I don't know if he can teach you the pain, because no. there's a lot of pain no. involved in this. Look out! Oh, oh, there's kick. a drop kick. Whoa! Into the ropes goes uh, Jim Pope. <laughs> Okay, these two guys have been going at it since the opening bell. This has been one fall to a TV time, but oh, you see that he caught uh, he caught Dan Shaw right in the there. face. Yeah, around the face and the chin there, area cost. He's that, down. That he's he's a, hurting from that. Look that at that. That's a hard drop kick, and he is hurting. Man, right in the chin. Yeah. Look at that. Check and see if that chin's still there. It's a rough, tough business, Cos. You know, now you, a lot of guys think they can just get off the street and get right in the business. You can't do that. You got to be trained by professionals and learn what you're doing, Cos. Well, I. And it's a hard road, believe me. I saw a guy one time who thought he could just come in off the street, and he had he had a lot of amateur background, and he had a he had what he thought was some pretty good credentials, and he he jumped in that ring, and they carried him out. That's so that's you, very true. Very, very dangerous, and you don't ever want to think that you know more than you do in a sport like professional wrestling because you can get uh, hurt real bad real fast and these men have been training for some time now over Jesse Barr and it looks like Dan Sharp got a, well, he had a oh, pretty good a nice little move by that little yeah, up there yeah. yeah good move by Dan Sharp I think a short move by Dan like, I sharp saw, move cost. Yes, by yeah. And now maybe Jim needs to see the Pope. I, I have no idea. I, <laughs> all right, I promise not to do any more of those. But I can't wait for that I quit match between John Rambo and Bart Sawyer tonight. And you know that grudge rematch that we're going to have tonight. C.W. Bergstrom and Don Harris. Whoa. They've been uh, they've been chasing each other all over the Northwest in all these towns that you guys been going into. Well, that's yeah. true, Cos, you know, because uh, they put C.W. in the hospital. Oh, there's a suplex right there, Cos. This might do it. Man, that's a tough well, suplex. By he's got one shoulder up, Cos. You know, neither one of these guys wants to lose. They didn't uh, They didn't come out here to be on TV and lose. Now they're doing everything they can, wanna, you know, <laughs> to get the pin or to avoid the pin. Now, you were talking about uh, Don Harris and C.W. Bergstrom and that, and that feud that's been brewing. <laughs> well, that's right. You know, there was the Harris boys that put C.W. in the hospital, put him out of wrestling for a while, and now he's come back a whole different guy, a different style of wrestling. Uh, he's bigger, he's trained harder, and uh, so he's up in the top ranks there with the, with the uh, twin brothers. Well, I don't know what, uh, what happened to C.W. in the hospital, other than the fact that he certainly did recuperate. They, they put him back together. But, uh, man, they put back together a different man because C.W. Bergson has come back from the hospital. A lot of therapy, a lot of rehabilitation. But, man, the guy must have worked out every single day because uh, he has come back with a vengeance, and it's coming to a head tonight. Speaking of a head, what happened to his hair, Cos? Well, how did that color well, I don't know. He, uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it had something to do with the injury that just... Uh, I don't know, the upset the metabolism or something in or his body. Or maybe it could be that nurse lady, Clairol. That might yeah. be it, too. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well. That's another good move, Cos. Oh, you got the shoulder up again. These, these oh, guys. Oh, well, it's there, over. Cost. It's over now. Out. It's over now. Both men well matched, battling to a draw. And the crowd loves this. Yeah, they're giving him a nice hand. Good sportsmanship. I thought Sharp was ahead on points, though, Cos. Well, it's hard to tell. I lost, uh, I dropped my score uh, sheet on the floor there. But uh, Dan Sharp and Jim Pope battling to a draw in our semi-pro match here tonight. We'll be right back with more pro wrestling right after this.